What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Now, with that being said, I'm here in Richmond, Virginia. Taking some time out, trying to see the sights and sounds over here. We are here at the Edgar Allan Poe Museum. Now, if you guys don't know who Edgar Allan Poe is, let me give you a little bit of a background. Edgar Allan Poe was born January 19th, 1809 and passed away on October 7th, 1849. He was an American writer, poet, critic, and an editor, best known for evocative short stories and poems that captured the imagination and interest of readers around the world. His imaginative storytelling and tales of mystery and horror gave birth to the modern detective story. Many of Poe's works, including The Tell-Tale Heart and The Fall of the House of Usher, became literary classics. Some aspects of Poe's life, like his literature, is shrouded in mystery, and the lines between fact and fiction have been blurred substantially since his death. All right, guys, hopefully you caught up to speed now who Edgar Allan Poe is. Now let's go inside and we'll show you around. The Raven, nevermore. Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend. I shrieked, upstarting, get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit the bust above my door. Take thy beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Raven, never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the padded bust of Pallas just above my chamber door, and his eyes have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, and the lamplight o'er him streaming throws his shadow on the floor, and my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. Awesome. Thank you for joining, spending a beautiful Saturday afternoon here at the Poe Museum. What we're going to have you do today is travel through the exhibits in a giant loop. That helps us with our social distancing, but it works out because it's also a chronological tour of Poe's life. You are going to start here in the old stone house. This is the oldest standing residence in the city of Richmond. It was built between 1730 and 1750 by the Eggie family. Poe did not live here. He did not die here. He never even slept here. We have one documented occurrence where we know Poe was here and that was when the Marquis de Lafayette, so who has seen Hamilton? Okay, it's the great character in Hamilton. The real Marquis de Lafayette was in Richmond and he was traveling around paying his respects to the prominent families and he was escorted by a youth honor guard. Poe served in that honor guard. So while the marquee was in the room where you're starting, Poe would have stood on the front stoop. But this was Poe's neighborhood, so he walked up and down these streets all the time. This is an exhibit on Poe's early life. You will go in and out of the same door. And then you will go to the memorial building. This is an exhibit on Poe's later life, and so, his writing career, his marriage to Virginia, the woman he wooed when Virginia died. Everything is on the first floor, again, in and out of the same door. Well guys, thank you for joining me on this tour of Edgar Allan Poe and his very, very interesting and different events that have happened to him, especially the events around his death which I found to be actually the most fascinating part. That still there's people theorizing of how exactly he died and what was going on. And you know, I, I just came out and said maybe he was possessed. I don't know, he must have had some sort of psychotic breakdown. I'm not sure, but again, you could go visit the website um, from this beautiful establishment that we have here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tour with me and some of the facts. Um, and thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you see, click on some of my other videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.